Hi, I'm Attila Marini. Welcome to another edition of Healthy Eats for Athletes with me, the Cast Iron Chef. Here with me today is Ray Sean Holloway, a Special Olympics athlete all the way from West Hartford. Welcome to the show. Glad to be here. Are you ready to cook? I am ready to cook. Well, before we start cooking, we need to know a little bit about you. So tell me, what sports do you enjoy doing for Special Olympics? I like doing volleyball. It's my favorite sport. I like serve, spike the ball, set my team up. I like basketball too, floor hockey, track and field. I'm an all-around athlete. All-around athlete. The list continues. Yes. Been doing it for 19 years. It's 19 years. That's a long time. Too long for me, but I still do it. <laughs> when are you going to retire? Um, don't know. You still feel good though, right? You good. enjoy it? Yep. Have you ever been to the Dream Ride? No. What is Dream Ride? Well, I'm glad you asked. Dream Ride is a multi-day extravaganza that runs from August 25th to August 27th and is filled with food, fun, music, giveaways, competitions of all kinds, and more. And if you like all that, I'd be glad to have you register. That would like a fun time to me. I would definitely love to go there. We'd love to have you. Especially the cars. Love to the cars. What's your favorite car? Lamborghini. Lamborghini. I love Lamborghini. There's plenty of those. Oh, you can sit in them, take pictures, everything. Okay. But before we get to dream, right, we need to cook. Okay. So today I'm going to make for you chicken piccata, which is a traditional Italian dish. Okay. It has chicken, obviously, mm -hmm. capers, Yep. lemon, Yep. mushrooms, Okay. chicken stock, Yep. and then we're going to also have sauteed spinach with a little bit of olive oil and garlic. Getting me hungry already. You like all those ingredients? Yes, I do. Well, then let's get ready to cook. Let's cook. High five to that. We're going to take the chicken that we've dredged in flour. Yep. Okay, you understand this part, right? Yes, I do. Okay. So. Let me shake off the excess. So here we're gonna do that. So then we're gonna put these lemon peels in here. These lemon slices. Yep. You're gonna get a little bit of color on them. Okay. That's a good thing right there. So with this dish, we're not using any butter. Nope. No butter, okay? Really? No butter. This is healthy eats for athletes. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to get a nice little golden brown color on the chicken. Yeah. Isn't that nice? That look nice. Making me want to cry right Make now. Making you want to cry? Cry for joy, cry. right? Yes. Nothing like crying for joy. Yes. Tears of happiness. Yes. You know, when food makes you cry, you know it's done right. Yes. <laughs> you want to go to sleep after that? Yeah, yeah. that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. So we can take some capers here. And these capers are bursting with flavor. They're a little bit salty, they're briny, mm -hmm. but it goes great with the lemon. So let's see what we have here. Look at this, we got a nice color over here. Yes. See, see, that's the color we're looking for, see? That's the color I like. That's the color we want. That's the color we want. Okay, now you know. We got the capers in there. Yep. Okay. Gonna add our chicken stock. Here we go. And we're cooking. We're gonna squeeze a half of Ooh. the steam. Mm -hmm. It's hot. This is gonna boil away here. Reduce. Yep. We're gonna get this pan now here. Put a little olive oil in here. I can smell that lemon. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need you to help me here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, first we're gonna do the, the mushrooms. Okay. Okay. Yep. So, put the mushrooms in here right now. Put the whole thing. Be careful. It might splash. Oh, there you go. So this we're trying to get a little bit of color on them. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Because mushrooms have a lot of water, so you want to get a, the pan nice and hot. Okay. So as soon as it, it releases the water, yep. it evaporates, and the mushroom can get caramelized. Okay. Otherwise, it just becomes steamed mushrooms. Oh yeah. Okay, and we don't want that. We want a little bit of color. So we're gonna put just a little bit of salt and pepper on this. Okay. Okay. And this is gonna take a few minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can already smell the the aroma, the aroma. The, of the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. That one you gotta turn over. This one here, try to turn over also. There you 
you go. There you go. This one over here. Which one? Right here. This oh, one, that here. one right there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's, cut, let's turn this one over. Yeah, let's see what color we have there. Let's see? Oh, see how yeah, that's, that's working? That's what I'm talking about. See? Yeah, let's do this big one here too. Let's get this one. Yeah. Let's see what we got on the other side now. Look at that. Wait till you see the color on that. See? Look at that. See? Look at that color. So this we're just gonna do a quick, we're just gonna move them around a little bit. Woo! Woo! Little flame. So now we're gonna take this, mm -hmm. I'm gonna pour it, I'm gonna put it in here. Okay. Okay. Into the chicken. So now we're gonna add a little bit more olive oil here. We're gonna put a little bit of garlic. You like garlic? Yes, I do. Okay. And now you're gonna put the spinach in here. Go ahead. Let me know when. Yep, all of it. Put it in. It's only gonna take a couple seconds. Just a touch of salt and pepper over here also. And this one's gonna take literally seconds. Literally. Spinach cooks so fast. And this is the same thing with this one. When you're cooking spinach, because a lot of water, yeah. you want to get the pan nice and hot. So it, so, so it sautés as opposed to just getting steamed. Yeah. So let's set up this plate now over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is all done. So we're going to put this right over here in the center. Oh, that's going to smell good. See? That's your spinach. Thank you. And now we're going to set up the chicken. You want to have one too? We're going to share. Okay. You didn't think it was just for you, did you? Oh, no way. <laughs> okay, I, I was hoping we were going to share this. Oh, we're going to share this. We're sharing, right? Yep. You know, people that cook together, share together. Yep. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring, exactly. So now we take this, we're going to get the flavor into the mushrooms. Yep. We're going to pour some of that juice on top over here. We're going to take our mushrooms and spread them out. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it like a hundred. So when you go on a date, uh -huh. and you want to cook for the lady. Yeah. You want to impress her. Yep. You make this for her. Uh huh. She'll be in love. I know she will. You know, food is the key to a woman's heart. Yes, it is. Let's take a look at this. Let's hold it together. Voila.